Coming up, it's that time of the semester again. Be prepared for long lines at Starbucks and more people in the library. It's finals week. This morning, we have a few tips to help you prepare. Now, from the EMC studio at Onondaga Community College. This is an On TV update. Good morning and welcome to On TV Update. This is Friday, May 1st. I'm Connor Halton. And I'm Elena Ciro. Finals week is quickly approaching and everybody knows how stressful that can be. There are a lot of... There are a lot of things to consider even before sitting down to study. Rebecca Gillette tells us how you can prepare to succeed on those upcoming tests. Finals week. Two words that send college students into a state of panic. Final week starts May 12th and ends May 15th. Grab a partner, some coffee, and a quiet place to study to prepare for the challenges ahead. Planning to transfer after graduation? OCC's 2 plus 2 agreements are making that transition a lot smoother. The 2 plus 2 agreements are available for current OCC students planning on transferring to complete their bachelor's degree. After graduation with it, students apply to both schools at the same time, and after completing their two-year degree, they are guaranteed acceptance to the four-year college. Syracuse University, St. John Fisher, Lemoyne, and SUNY Oswego are among some of the schools participating. To make sure you're on track to transfer, schedule an advisement appointment today. The art of producing and mixing tracks has been made more efficient by digital audio. By the 1970s, digital became the standard and began to replace analog technology. But does this mean digital is better or just more convenient? A lot of work goes into producing the perfect song. Norway will be the first country to switch from FM radio to digital radio in 2017. As the end of the semester approaches, the members of JAMA here at OCC offer a few fun activities to help students enjoy the last few days before finals week. The students have something very exciting coming their way. On TV's Vanessa Satu shows us what students can expect. This May, Jemai will put on their third annual OCC fashion show. Some of the proceeds from the show will go to a charity of the club's choice. So by attending this event, you'll be entertained and supporting a good cause. Established in 1987, Feats of Clay was created to foster the education of ceramic arts within Syracuse high schools. Alexis Cabrera got a chance to meet some of the very important people that keep this event alive. Feats of Clay is celebrating its 28th birthday with some big changes, and I got a chance to speak with some of the people behind the scenes that are helping to push it forward. Thanks, Alexis. You can meet some of the high school artists live and in person today as they compete in a series of ceramic relay races coined the Feats of Clay Olympics. The event will be held in front of Wahimney Hall today between 10 and 1. Coming up, we're going to look, have a look at outside to see if last week's snow is gone for good. Weather is next. Also, Larry Bird takes a look at a seasonal nuisance that could end up costing you big bucks at the mechanic. That's all when we come back. What do Godsmack, Jay-Z, Megan Trainer, and the Sammy Awards and an amazing local artist have in common? You'll find them all right here on Music Week. Welcome to Music Week. I'm Connor Halton. And I'm Zach George. It's almost summer, so that means plenty of music around Syracuse. Also, see where the best place is to catch your favorite local band. We also dive into what stories are making a fuss on the national scene. Independent singer and songwriter Dan Vitale joins us for an interview along with a live performance. The, annual, the Sammy Awards is the annual celebration of the local music scene here in the Cuse. Here's a quick look at this year's winners. Best Pop, Nick and Noah. Best Hip Hop, Nick Case, a.k.a. Decoy. Best Hard Rock, Nine Ball. And the People's Best Choice Venue, Kegs and Canal. Congrats to all the winners. And turning an eye to the national music scene, Megan Trainer's video for her song, Dear Future Husband, is getting a few people under hot, hot under the collar with cries of sexism. The video features shots of the young songstress scrubbing floors and attempting to bake in her usual retro gram style. Lines like, you gotta know how to treat me like a lady, even when I'm acting crazy, 
tell me everything's all right. Her detractors are complaining about retrograde gender roles and harmful stereotypes. Kate Boudon, a staff writer for Mick.com, writes, it may be just a pop song, but thousands of little girls will be singing Dear Future Husband on the playground soon enough. This song teaches kids that all men are born to be husbands and women are born to be wives. In her scathing review of the doo-wop pop tune, the controversy has grown to the point where Trainer herself has had to comment on the song's content. She says, quote, I don't think it's sexist. I just wrote a song for my particular future husband out there, wherever he is. I'm just preparing him, letting him know what's up. Trainer is best known for bursting onto the scene music last year with their hit single, All About That Bass. The way to get your music in the near future is about to change. Jay-Z's relaunched his streaming service title on the 31st. H-O-V-A, HOVA, packed the stage with a who's who of the music world, including Madonna, Jack White, Kanye, Rihanna, Daft Punk, Alicia Keys, and more. Jay-Z referred to all the artists on his stage as, quote, co-owners of this new company, essentially making this a united artists of the music industry. The streaming service is set to offer a $20 a month membership for lossless audio tracks and other exclusive content. Coming up, we're sitting down with local musician Dan Vitelli. We'll be asking him all about the trials and triumphs of being a local musician on the scene.